Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Google Analytics to your website in 2023. So today we're going to dive into the essential tools for understanding your website performance, connecting Google Analytics into it. So if you're eager to gain insights into your website traffic and user behavior, stick around and let's explore the step-by-step -step process of, of integrating your Google Analytics with your website. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video, and simply, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end, so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, you will have to sign up for Google Analytics. So visit the Google Analytics website, sign in with your Google account. And if you don't have one, just sign up for Google Analytics. Once you're logged in, click on Start Measuring and set up your property. So go to the URL section, go to Google Analytics. So, sorry, Analytics. Okay, you don't write it like that, but it's fine. Just go to Google Analytics. Oh, not this one, the second one, which is analytics.google.com. And of course, for me, as an example, I'm already like logged into my account for you. Just go and log into your account if you have one. If you don't, just go and create your account. And okay, this is like for courses. So just go to analytics.google.com. And yeah, yeah, okay. This take me right into what I want. So this is Google Analytics. Of course, you'll have, as I said, to go and create an account. If you have one, if you don't, you'll go, you'll have to go and create an account. Now, what you'll need to do is simply set up like a property. Click on create an account and fill up your account informations for you. Website name, website URL, industry, category, and reporting time zone. Review and accept all the terms of service. So for me, this place or this account exactly in Google Analytics already like connected to a website. So for me, I'll just go to this list panel, go to admin, and go and create like a new property to show you how. So we'll have now to fill up the informations, starting by the property name. Of course, as you can see in here, so to measure your web and app data, create a Google Analytics 4 property. Each property you create holds all your measurement data for any selection of websites and apps you choose. So we'll have to start by property name. I'll just type or name it a test. Test option, why not? And of course, a reporting time zone, make sure to enter that. So for me, I'll just enter like my country in here, the currency. I'll just let it the US dollars. You can of course edit, as you can see, uh, these property details later in admin. So click on next. You, you can of course, let me just go back, show advanced option. If you wanna like create a universal analytics property, universal of course analytics property will stop collecting data starting from July 1, 2023. It's recommended that you create a Google Analytics 4 property instead. As you can see, you can do that, but it will stop as they said on July 1, 2023. And look what year it is. It's already like uh, past July 1. So no need to do so. Go and click on next. And here, as you can see, you will have now to describe your business. Help us better understand your business by answering the following. So business details. Industry category required. I'll just type art and entertainment. Why not? Or let me see if, okay, there is games. Let's just choose games. Business size uh, or how much employees do you have? I'll for me, I'll just choose small from one to 10. Click on next in there. Then you'll find this. Choose your business objects. For reports that you personalized your business, select the topics most important to you. Generate leads, drive online sales, raise brand awareness, examine user behavior, or get baseline reports. As you can see, you can select more than one. So choose whatever suits you as an example. If you don't understand what is that, as you can see, they're giving you a brief explanation like analyze visitors' metrics and attract new customers, analyze purchase behavior and get more sales, spread the word about your business, examine user behavior, how, so how people like use your site or app, and multiple types of reports. This option can, can't be combined with other options. So if you're going to select this, make sure to don't select the others. If you don't select all the others, it's cool. Then click on create. So as you can see, it's creating. So start collecting data. To set up data collection for your website or app, you will have to choose from where you will be collecting data, the web, Android app, or iOS app, iOS app. Next, you will get like instructions for adding data collection tag to the sources. So you can learn more about the data collection. So you have to choose the platform. It's web, Android app, or iOS app. For me, it's web. 
I'll just go and select that. So of course, you can skip for now if you don't want to. So now you'll have to go and select simply your URL. So uh, I guess let just www. I guess this is a URL that I own. Uh, the stream name, my website. I actually don't know, but I'll just name it the same. And you can enhance, of course, as you can see, enhance measurements. So automatic measure uh, instructions and content on your site in addition to standard page view measurements. Data from on page elements such as link and embedded videos may be collected where relevant uh, events. You must ensure that no personally identifiable information will be sent to Google. You can learn more about that. In measuring, as you can see, page view, scrolls, outbound clicks, search sites, video engagements, file downloads, and form interactions. So you can check the settings and check as you can see, check on or put on whatever you want and even put off whatever you don't want. Then save, then click on create stream. So we'll have to wait a bit as you can see. So here, as you can see, web, uh, web so now what you'll need to do basically is just go and install like the Google Analytics code manually. So, or install in a website builder or CMS. If you have on one of these platforms like WordPress, Wix, Shopify, Squarespace, whatever of those options, or you can simply uh, install it manually. Just go and copy that. And as you can see, you'll have to go and insert that code on your website as HTML or on your code snips. Just go and add it in there. And then go and click on tests. Once you click on tests, as you can see, so your Google tags wasn't detected on your website. Because you, I didn't add it yet. But for you, once you add it, and go back and click on test. Everything is good. That means you're already good to go. And you can even install it with a website builder or CMS. You can select your platform as an example from one of these options in here. If you didn't find like the option that you have in here, you'll have to go and install it manually. If you do, just go and select that for me as an example. I have GoDaddy. So I just have to do so. And what I'll need to do, I'll go to my, uh, as an example, GoDaddy products page. And go to websites marketing. Click on manage. Go to edit websites, click on settings, go to analysis and tracking, click on Google Analytics, and enter this tag ID that they give me in here. And as you can see, I'll have to click on publish, then come back here and click on test again, and I'll be good to go. So once you've finished those options, you'll have just to wait, and you already like successfully connected your Google Analytics to your website. Now you'll have to set up like goals and events, explore like Google Analytics dashboard as an example and utilize the analytics insights. You can regularly monitor your website's analytics data, use these insights to optimize your website's understanding, user behavior, and make informed decisions to improve your performance. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.